Hello, everyone. Welcome to Development Palettes. I'm Aaron Loomis coming to you from the Drew Estate Studio. With me today is June Lou and John McTavish. How are you guys doing today? Not bad. Doing doing well, man. I was whining a couple of videos ago about the temperature here, and you know, it's the polar vortex is gone. It's 42 degrees freedom, which is maybe a little cold for our southern friends in the United States. But up here at these parts, 42 degrees freedom is that's some pretty good smoking weather for the dead of winter. So uh <laughs> No yawning tonight. Uh, everything's good. Dude, I think nice. it got up to like 74 here today. Yeah. Tomorrow's oh. going to be even warmer. It's going to be a nice. Nice day. Sounds, no. That does sound nice. Weird. I, I wish I lived in San Francisco, greater Bay Area. No, you don't want to live in these days. You don't want to live in fucking Kim Jong Newsomville over here. <laughs> Anyways, California governor. The first sucks. time I've heard Anyways. that one. I don't, yeah. you, know, you, know I live in, you know I live in Canada, right? Like, you know that. I live in one of the most depressive tobacco countries in the world. Right? Oh, I'm not talking about just tobacco. I'm talking about uh, fucking pandemic cattling. Uh, yeah, we could do it. Yeah, anyways, nobody yeah. wants to hear about that. Nobody wants anymore, to hear about so. this. What are we talking about today, Aaron? All right, so today we're talking about the Davidoff Year of the Ox. Uh, this cigar is a double Toro 6x60. Uh, comes out of the Davidoff factory in the Dominican Republic. Uh, wrappers from the Dominican Republic. Binder is Ecuadorian Sumatra. Uh, the filler is Nicaraguan Esteli Visus and Candega Visus, uh, Dominican Mejorado Visus, and Yamasa Visus, or Yamasa Visus, however you like to pronounce it. Uh, price point is $40. Uh, cigar was released in November of 2020, and we picked these cigars up from Corona Cigar Company. So if you are in Florida and close to any of their physical locations, be sure to stop in, uh, or you can go to the website, uh, or give them a call, and you can place orders there, and they ship to you. So check it out. All right. So June, with all that out of the way, what was your overall experience like with the cigar? Um, I, I thought this was very non Davidoff kind of a cigar. Um, I, so I, I don't know about you guys, but like when I smoke Davidoff, it's, it's like right off the bat, it's almost like, uh, well, I don't know if I'll be this good, but it's almost like if I would have smoked Davidoff blind and after like the initial couple of puffs, you, I kind of know that it's going to be like Davidoff-esque or Davidoff-like, right? Like, because uh, usually it kind of opens up with this, like mushroom funkiness, it's, it's grassy, it's hay, you know, kind of a component. But off the bat, this was just really subtle in flavors. Uh, and there's the subtleties and flavor is probably how I would categorize this cigar in general. Um, so very subtle in cedar, hay, nuts, baking spices. Um, and it just did really, really didn't really shift from that um, the whole time. Uh, medium strength, medium body. Uh, it was pretty uneventful for such a big cigar, and um, yeah, it was a uh, uh, surprisingly not Davidoff at all. So, all right, John, how about you? Yeah, if you're looking to me for a better result than June, uh, so for everyone out there, if they care, this is my first Zodiac experience. Oh. Uh, I was not impressed and there's a lot of Davidoffs out there that we've smoked that have been quite good. I mean, we've, we, we had Davidoffs landing in our top five last year. Uh, so obviously given it's a Zodiac release, given the limited edition, given the, you know, everyone's like, Oh, you got to smoke a Zodiac. Zodiacs are the best. And, uh, I'm not so sure that that's the case. Um, I'm going to echo a lot of what June said. I just really got a lot of notes of clover and wood, dry wood finish, maybe a little bit of earth. Uh, I did get some baking spices in the retro hail as the first third kind of settled in, but it was fairly unremarkable, fairly paint by numbers. Nothing there really grabbed me. Um, there was maybe some graham cracker, but it, it just was so mild that it just like, it, I don't know, it just didn't really do anything. The second third for me was good. As kind of a creamy baking spice, um, some cedar. It was interesting, but it wasn't overly complex. It, but it was maybe just a contrast to just how flat the first third was. And then the last third was flat, like the first third, just very boring baking spices. Uh, and unfortunately, while the burn was excellent, the ash was holding on really, really well. Uh, I had a very very tight draw which is unusual especially for a davidoff and especially for a cigar of this ring gauge it was like four and a half notches tight like it was like i was like am i gonna have to rate this cigar subpar for a draw <laughs> and then fortunately kind of halfway through the first third it it opened right up so i don't know what happened i used the same cutter for everything everything gets sort of dry boxed ish at 65 percent to make sure it's perfect for smoking conditions 
I don't know what happened, but um, that not what I expect out of Davido. So, you know, even though my overall experience with rate is average, I would say that's a pretty disappointing result for a Zodiac series at 25 bucks from Davidoff. Not, not what I would expect. Anyways, that's my big story. Aaron, walk us through your experience. Yeah, I got a, uh, like an average experience of that, like typical Davidoff expression that June was mentioning. So, you know, I got that uh, mushroom mustiness, got some cedar, some baking spice. Um, later the cedar gained a, a toasted note and kind of finished with a heavily charred cedar in the final third. Um, you know, I think this is my first Zodiac as well. So I don't, you know, this is, you know, no, nothing to compare it to in regards to the Davidoff uh, releases for this. But um, I was really expecting a lot more from this cigar, uh, especially like you said, John, like, you know, we had quite a bit of Davidoff uh, representation on the top 25 list last year. Um, yeah, the cigar just never got off the ground. Uh, it was just, um, I don't know if it just, the too much tobacco, can't get a you know a focus on what what the profile is supposed to be in, in the 60 ring gauge something like that but um yeah i don't know uh at 40 bucks no chance i'm coming back to this cigar man i can't I, i'm not gonna sit through this and i'm not gonna smoke a 60 that i don't enjoy uh and spend a bunch of money to do it so yeah i'm not gonna come back to the cigar all right we'll get to the scores start at the top with seth who was unable to join us he gave it a 6.05 uh john was next at 5.65 june gave it a 5.50 i gave it a 5.15 so john had that 5.65 match well first let me fill in for seth okay being him being a high score so he's gonna say listen, yeah man. man you know listen listen, man. listen listen man it's davidoff you know i kissed her ass all the time and 6.05 is a good score it's davidoff <laughs> Listen, man, if you're out of Hong Kong and you're used to buying these every year, you're going to have some really angry buyers out of Hong Kong. You, you spent the money on the humidor, you know, you're, you're looking for the Gong Hei Fa Choi experience, and you're not getting it. Instead of a red envelope, you're getting a blue envelope. It's not okay. Not okay. Thanks, Seth. How about you, John? Uh, five, six, five matches up, which, you know, I think – when you think about a, 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 and we'll get into this a lot, little bit more with some of the other video reviews we're doing, but when you talk about a limited edition cigar, so first of all, limited edition, you're expected to perform at a higher level. So price aside, if you're scoring below a six in a limited edition, I, I feel like you've done something very, very wrong. You add a $40 price tag, and to me, if you're performing anything less than like a very good or a 7.0, Again, I think you're doing really something really, really wrong. You, you you can't have a limited edition cigar that's this special at 40 bucks and not perform excellently. And does that set you up for a failure? Maybe, but you have all this time to work on that blend before it gets released. And uh, I don't know how this got released. I don't know how anyone was happy with this. As I mean, it'd be interesting to see whatever the, what other people say about this cigar. But yeah, man, five six five, not good. All right, June, 5.5. Yeah, I I agree with John. I mean, if anything, everything that comes out of Davidoff within these limited releases, especially, you need to, you know, pass through it, pass through it with uh, a fine comb because it's incredibly expensive and your reputation relies on it, right? Um, so I just, I don't get this one at all. Like, you know, you have something that's, you know, celebrating Lunar New Year, you have something that is the year of the ox, but you're giving me exactly opposite. Like when you think about ox, you think about a big old ox, strong, bold, powerful, right? And you give me this, the size matches, right? A big six by 60. Makes yeah. sense. It's fitting. That's what everybody does. That's everybody's doing that this year, right? They're giving you the big ring gauge. Sure. You know. Get so it. We can do anything different, right? <laughs> <laughs> but like in terms of the flavor profile, give me something that's, like an ox, right? You give me that boldness, you know, add some fucking Lajero in there, you know, like make it, make it bold. Um, and, you know, if you're going to charge me $40, at least make my fucking head spin <laughs> after smoking it. <laughs> yeah. My 5.15 matches up. Um, it was a below average flavor profile. I mean, it was average through the first two thirds and then subpar in the final third when it uh, started charring up, but uh, you know, construction was pretty good. Um, but yeah, this is just a huge miss. Uh, price and uh, kind of the tier of what this was supposed to be. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm scratching my head. So final thoughts on this from you guys? I don't think this will 
keep me from wanting to try another Zodiac next year? Because I have heard people say there's been some pretty epic Zodiac releases mm-hmm. in the past. So I just kind of have to assume in the vein of a lot of 2020 releases really missed the mark. So, you know, kind of put that in that bucket, I guess. Yeah, I've had like the Year of the Snake, uh, but that, was, that came out a while ago. But mm-hmm. I really love that cigar. And it's still pretty good uh, throughout all these years. I think I had a year the horse, I think a couple years ago. That was decent, but this one is just flat out, you know, don't don't even bother spending the money on it. Well, I don't I don't know. I have to look at the lunar calendar to see when the year of the dragon is, but um that's my birth zodiac. So obviously I'd be pretty excited to smoke one, and if it sucked, I'd be pretty upset. But <laughs> I, I'd imagine I probably have some time to wait before that comes around the rotation. Forty dollars burned in your pocket. Uh, we're gonna get a chance to smoke the Maya Selvia or the Ox a little bit later this year. Oh, sweet! So we'll have another wow. uh, another Zodiac for this year to kind of compare it to. Uh, I don't know the price point on that cigar. I'm gonna assume it's not as this high. So we'll get it get to see how that one shakes out. You know, I I wore red for the <laughs> for the year of the Ox. I was kind of hoping June would do the same, but he's just like. No, I'm just oh, being a, uh, I mean, uh, I'm regular white t-shirt. Might as well be wearing a white beater too. There so. you go. That's right. <laughs> All right. If you just catch this video on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to us. But also check out the full written review on the website, developmentpals.com. Follow us on the social media channels and you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts, iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We will catch you on the next one. Gong hei fa choi. <laughs>